Hey guys, how's it going today? Griffy Bit here, and today we're doing our first episode of Unit Rundown, where we go through each unit of the SR unit list, and we decide which one is the best, which one is good, and which one is valid. And then we're going to be going over specializations, and then at the end, I'm going to give you my opinion about it, and then we're going to rate it out of 10. So, for the first unit of this series, we are going to be checking out the Archer. So let's get down into it. Let's go over some of the basics of the archer, how the archer works, how the archer runs, how the archer attacks. The archer is a standard range unit with low health but high damage. And its attacks are inefficient. And if flies, arrows will shoot at a target who will be dead by the arrow arrives, but can be strong in large numbers, especially at low levels. So quantity over quality when it comes to the archer. For all intents and purposes, we are going to be covering the viewer and the epic version. So, let's give a quick stat rundown of what the normal unit does, and then we'll do a stat rundown of what the epic archer does. The role of the archer is ranged. The attack range of it is 7 tiles. The attack speed is 0.5, and when I say 0.5, that's attack per second. They have a move speed of 1 tile per second, and they can target flying. Range has this special milestone ability where it does extra damage to melee units. So, at level 1, it has a 30% bonus to melee units. At level 5, it has a 50%. Level 10 is 70%, level 20 is 85%, and level 30 is 100% bonus to melee units. This does change with specializations, but we'll get that down into later into the video. Now, between the normal unit and the epic unit, there's actually no variation and change without specializations, so all the stats are the same, even for the epic version. And just to clarify, I'm talking about the movement speed, the attack speed, and the attack range when I say all the stats stay the same between epic and non-epic. Health and power damage vary between epic and non-epic compared to every single other unit, which all do the same. For target priority, the priority range of 7, which is the same as the attack, means that within the attack range, it will seek out the closest of any unit of any type. Inside the attack range, it will prioritize first armored and then balloon buster, and then melee, and then it does range. If none of these are available, it will simply attack the closest unit. The pathing of how it works as an archer is it can walk through armored, melee, assassins, monks, and Templars, but it cannot walk through other ranged units, healers, or flag bearers. Now let's take a quick look at specializations here. So for the normal unit, the long shot specialization increases the range by one. So if you're long shot, your range will be eight instead of seven. This also goes with your attack range priority. If it's epic, it goes from seven and then adds four and then goes to 11 range. So epic actually gains more range for the potions that you use. The pinning archer, when it attacks, reduces the movement speed of the unit with non-epic by 30% for three seconds. If it's an epic unit, it's 75%. So there's a big change. There's a 45% difference between non-epic and epic unit. To my understanding that this pinning archer is the actual only form of CC in the game. So the fact that you can have a low cooldown unit with a form of CC will become very viable, especially in PvP, in dungeons, PvE as well. Denai spec, it gives you a 10% bonus damage against range units, which that's not what you prioritize if a tank is in there. And also, it's a your buff against melee units is capped off at 85%. With the epic unit, you get 40% based damage against range units. Your milestone ability is also capped off at 85% instead of at the level 30 at 100%. This is not a good spec. Where should you be placing the archer? You want to be placing the archer if you have a formation with armored in the front, plus a space for epic variations, healers in the middle, and then the th or three lines of range in the back. You want to be in the middle pack of that range because frontline range are meant for your bombers. Midline range is meant for your archers and your musketeers, and backline range is meant for your artillery. So that is going to be the most beneficial place that you're going to use it. Now we'll tackle the pros and cons of this unit, and then we'll get down to my final opinion and the rating on what we have on this unit. Pros. It has good range 
with the 7 range. If it's in long shot, it can be either 8 or 11, depending on epic or non-epic. It has the lowest cooldown in the game, so every 10 minutes you can place an archer. It's expendable. Easy to find in the shop. You will always see a lot of archers in the shop, as long as a lot of tanks and a lot of rope. The specializations are pretty self-explanatory. You want to take one over the other. But, since it is a low cooldown unit, you can technically have one long shot and one pinning archer. It's also beginner friendly, so anybody can use it because you get it at the baseline of the game. Cons. Low health pool. You can get smacked by one rogue hit. Busters annihilate you. Target priority. Since it's such, it's inefficient with its arrow shots, like I was talking with the musketeer. The chances of you actually getting a kill with an archer is a lot less than you think it is. Quantity over quality. You might think that this isn't a bad thing, but one quality of a unit is better than the quantity of units because that requires you to have a bigger army. You are susceptible to splash damage. If you get a tank near your artillery, your whole range lineup is in the perfect shot for you to get absolutely creamed by splash damage. Let's go over my overall opinion with this unit. Longshot is not good in most scenarios, reason being the projectile speed of the archer itself. If you have a projectile of the archer versus a musketeer, the musketeer can get two shots off by the time that the long shot hits one. So you have a long shot arrow that hits it, you'll have a musketeer shot that hits it, but by the time that that second arrow hits, the musketeer would have shot his second shot and the unit would be dead. It is not very viable in most scenarios. Denai spec is the worst spec out of the three. Long shots in second, pinnings in first. It gives you a 10% bonus damage against range units, which that's not what you prioritize if a tank is in there. If a armored unit is in your line of attack priority, you are not going to be able to benefit out of the 10% bonus damage to the range unit. And also, it's a, your buff against melee units is capped off at 85%. Is the archer is okay. It helps you win games. It has a super low cooldown. It has attack priority where it's supposed to have attack priority because that's part of the game but in the long run it's not going to be the best unit so considering everything into a whole and everything as one i would give the archer out of 10 a six it's better than your average bear but it's not better than some of the other units well, that has been the Archer Rundown for this episode. Tell me what you guys think in the comment section below. Love to hear what you had to say. Uh, I'll be doing this, try to be doing one every week for the next 22 weeks. And while you hit that subscribe button on the YouTube, because you're like, damn, this guy has some good videos. And man, we got to keep those Kool-Aid rations up on Twitch. Speaking of Twitch, why don't you come check me out? Hit me out with a follow. I got SR guides. I can help you. I can show you the way. Viewer, captain, everybody in between. So if you want a good captain to be able to follow in the footsteps, come check me out. I'll leave in the description below. At the end of all these episodes, we are going to be doing one great big tier list, a grand finale of which unit reigns superior. So until next time, I've been your stream captain for today. My name is Griffybit, proud owner of the Itty Bitty Army, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.